So here's video two for uh, chapter three. In this video, we're going to combine like terms still uh, to add and subtract linear expressions. So your vocab linear expression, they're just algebraic expressions with no exponents, no powers or exponents on your numbers. So you won't see anything like this x squared or y to the third power, nothing like that, just plain numbers and plain variables. So let's review distributive property again quick. Anytime you see a number right in front of parentheses, you're going to draw those arrows in, and that tells you that you need to multiply this number times everything in the parentheses. Okay, so this one would be negative 4 times x, and then also negative 4 times negative 2, so we're remembering my rules from chapter 1, that would be positive 8, and then just bring everything else down. And I could keep going from there and combine like terms. Let's do another one. I'm going to draw my arrows. I see this 3 in front of the parentheses, so I need to multiply by everything inside the parentheses. And do that first. So 3 times 2z is 6z. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. And then bring everything else down. Always double check that you've copied everything down correctly before then you go on to the next step. All right, draw my arrows in, negative 5 times y, and negative 5 times negative 2y. So negative times a negative is positive 10y. And then you would keep going and combine like terms after that. Okay, so that's a review of distributive property, and we're going to use that today as we add and subtract linear expressions. Okay, so I've given you the steps here. For all of these problems, we're going to go through these four steps. You're going to find and do all the distribution that you have. So, for example, every time I see that number in front of parentheses, I'm going to distribute it. 4 times 2x, 4 times negative 7, right, and rewrite it, okay? Step two, double check you might have to distribute negatives. When you see a minus sign or a negative like this right in front of parentheses, remember negative and minus, pretty much the same thing now, that is a negative one. And that negative one needs to be distributed to everything inside the parentheses. So this would actually mean negative one times three x and negative one times five and then I've distributed that negative one times everything. Okay, so that's a separate step, is to just double check and make sure you don't have a negative that needs to be distributed. Number three, then you're ready to box, color code, highlight, however you like to kind of find your like terms, and then actually combine those like terms and put them together. Okay, so I'm gonna do five examples, and then you're gonna flip it over and do Five problems just like these for practice. Here we go. It says simplify the following expression. Great. First step, check and see if there's anything to distribute. Well, nothing here in front of these parentheses, nothing here but a positive one, really nothing to distribute on these parentheses. So I'm ready just to move on and find my like terms and put them together. So 3x and 5x make 8x and then two and negative seven, two and negative seven make negative five. Okay, done. I got my like terms put together, finished. Number two, subtract four y minus three from nine y plus six. Well, in order to subtract all of this, I'm gonna move it over here and say subtract all of that four y minus three. So I'm starting with 9y minus 6, or no, sorry, 9y plus 6, and subtracting this. Okay. Anything to distribute? Well, no parentheses or anything here. No number here to distribute. But I do have that negative, which means this is really a negative 1 that needs to be distributed to everything inside the parentheses. So my next step is to now rewrite it negative one times four y, negative one times negative three, that's a negative three, 
is positive 3. And bring everything else down. Nothing else to distribute, no more negatives to distribute. I'm ready to just combine my like terms. So I'm going to write it over here. I see 9y minus 4y is 5y. And then I see 6 plus 3 is 9. If it's positive, put a plus sign. Okay, let's keep going to number 3. Given this expression, 2a plus 5b and 3a minus 2b, find their sum. Well, sum is telling me to add. So I have this and this, and I'm adding them together. Nothing to distribute here, nothing to distribute here on this set of parentheses, so I'm ready to just combine my like terms. So I see 2a and 3a make 5a, and I see 5b minus 2b makes 3b. If it's positive, put a plus sign, and these are just in alphabetical order. Okay, simplify the expression. 8m minus 3n minus 3 outside this set of parentheses. So I do have something to distribute. I'm going to make sure I see this negative 3 and I'm distributing it to both things inside the parentheses and I rewrite that first. So negative 3 times 2m, negative 3 times 5n is negative 15n, and I bring everything else down that was already in the problem. And now, nothing else to distribute. I'm ready to combine like terms. So I'm going to find my color code, my m's. Don't forget that's a negative 6m. And my n's. And put them together. So 8 minus 6 is 2m. And negative 3 and negative 15 make negative 18n. And that's done. I can't do anything. I can't put the m's and the n's together. They're not like terms with each other, so it stays two separate terms. All right, last one. This says add the following expressions. 5p plus 2q, negative 3p minus 4q, and p plus 7q. So, if I go back to my steps, check to see if I need to distribute anything. No parentheses, that means nothing here to distribute. I'm just ready to put like terms together. So, I'm going to find my P's, P's, and P's, and I'm going to find my Q's. 2Q, negative 4Q, 7Q, and I'm going to put them together. So all my p's, 5 minus 3, and then plus one more. So 5 minus 3 is 2 plus 1, 3p. And then my q's, 2 minus 4. I just like working left to right, so I'm just reading across my, my q's here. 2 minus 4 is negative 2 plus 7. Negative 2 plus 7 is 5q. If it's positive, put a plus sign. Okay, so I've done my examples. Flip the paper over. You're going to see five more that are just like this. And you're going to do these. So go ahead and work on the ones that say you try. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Come back when those are finished and you're ready to check. Okay, if you're ready, we'll check these over. The first one had nothing to distribute, so I just found my like terms and put the x's together, and then 9 minus 4 was 5. The next one did have a negative to distribute. I'm subtracting that whole 6y minus 3, so I need to distribute that negative to everything inside the parentheses. So that gave me negative 6y, positive 3. And then when I brought everything down and combined like terms, I ended up with 3y and 15. 
This one, nothing to distribute, so I'm just looking for like terms. 5a and 3b. Number 4, I needed to distribute. So I distributed that negative 4 and I rewrote that out here. Check your math that you have negative 4 and negative 7 makes a positive 28. And then I combined my like terms, m and n's, and I got this. And the last one, nothing to distribute. I checked first, but nothing to distribute, so I just combined my like terms. So we'll do more examples in class where there's probably more things to distribute like we had here, but distribute everything you can and then combine like terms. All right, that's it.